My health has been always wonderful. Taking care of other people was the joy of my life. Last fall, I was having these episodes where I felt like I had to tell myself to breathe. I had been under a lot of stress at work, so I was like, okay, I just need to slow down. All in a sudden, I felt like I have absolutely no energy. I went to my primary care doctor. He told me that it looked like I had had a cardiac event at some point, and I was predisposed to cardiac diseases based on my family history. When the doctor listened to my heart and took an EKG, he immediately said, you need to go to the emergency room. The diagnosis was congestive heart failure. From then on, you know, it was a total different life for me. I was referred to Dr. Sharma. She recommended that I work with a wellness coach at the Women's Heart Support Network. As women, we are so busy caring for others that we don't take time to care for ourselves. The Women's Heart Support Network was created for women with or at risk for cardiovascular disease with the ultimate goal of improving their overall health and wellness. As we have talked to our patients, what they've told us is, I have a girlfriend that got diagnosed with breast cancer. And when she gets that diagnosis, she is given so much support from her physicians, from all of her care providers, from the community. But if I had a heart attack or I just had open heart surgery or somebody told me that I need a pacemaker, there's no one for me to talk to. And so what we've done is we've said, we really need to make sure that we are with women every single step of their journey. One service that we provide within the Women's Heart Support Network that really makes us unique is one-on-one -on -one health coaching. We give the women a chance to really explain their issues and their concerns with overcoming some of the barriers that might be presented in their life with their health. We hold events monthly for our women to learn more about holistic care, learn more about ways to manage their stress, learn about ways to eat better, and to provide for their families. I've heard from a lot of our women that they feel alone, that they feel like there are no other women who are going through what they are going through. Once they come to events, they realize they're not alone. There are other women that are going through the same exact things that they're going through. The services that we provide with the Women's Heart Support Network are free of charge. We want to make sure that our services are available to all women regardless of financial situation. Our program is predominantly philanthropy funded. That's what ensures that our patients are getting the best heart care that is available. The vast majority of heart disease is preventable. Around 90% of women have at least one risk factor for the development of heart disease, and most women don't even know that. So if women just know their numbers and know their risk factors, they get to take control of what's happening with them. Meeting with Lauren turned out to be really good. I found out that I was caring so much for others that I had forgot to care for myself. I had to learn how to just slow down. Medication definitely has saved my life. But what I learned in the Women's Heart Support Network has even greater value for me. To have the tools to live a healthy, joyful life, I absolutely have benefited a great deal.